Have you ever looked at a map and wondered how the continents got their shapes? The world as we know it today is the result of millions of years of geological activity. But what if I told you that these pieces haven't always been in the same place? The continents we see today were once part of a supercontinent known as Pangaea. That millions of years ago the world looked completely different? Pangaea began to break apart around 175 million years ago, setting the stage for the continents to drift to their current positions. This is the story of India, a landmass that made an incredible journey across the globe. India was once situated near Madagascar, far from its current location. It's a tale of powerful forces, unimaginable timescales, and the dramatic birth of one of the world's most iconic mountain ranges. The collision of India with the Asian continent gave rise to the Himalayas. So, how did India become part of Asia? This monumental event was driven by the movement of tectonic plates, which are massive slabs of Earth's lithosphere. Let's embark on a journey back in time to find out. We'll explore the forces that propelled India northward, the speed of its journey, and the impact of its collision with Asia. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of our planet's ever-changing surface. To understand India's journey, we need to delve into the heart of our planet. Beneath our feet lies a layer of hot molten rock called the mantle. Floating on this molten sea are massive pieces of the Earth's crust called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit very slowly, at about the same rate your fingernails grow. This movement, known as plate tectonics, is responsible for shaping the Earth's surface. It's the driving force behind earthquakes, volcanoes, and the formation of mountains. And it's the reason why India embarked on its epic voyage across the ancient seas. Millions of years ago, India was part of a supercontinent called Gondwana. This massive landmass included present-day Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. But around 200 million years ago, Gondwana began to break apart. India, a relatively small piece of this supercontinent, started drifting northward at a surprisingly fast pace for a tectonic plate. Imagine a raft being carried along by powerful ocean currents. That's similar to how India moved across the ancient Tethys Ocean. As India drifted northward, it eventually collided with the Eurasian Plate, the massive landmass that makes up most of Europe and Asia. This collision, which began around 50 million years ago, was one of the most momentous events in Earth's history. The impact was like two giant bulldozers colliding head-on. The immense pressure from this collision had nowhere to go but up, causing the land to buckle, fold, and rise. And so began the birth of the Himalayas, the most spectacular mountain range on Earth. Section 5. The Rise of a Natural Wonder The Himalayas didn't just appear overnight. They were formed over millions of years through a slow and powerful process. This process began as the Indian plate continued to push against the Eurasian plate. The pressure from this ongoing collision is still pushing the Himalayas upwards, even today. Imagine the Earth's crust as a giant tablecloth. If you push the edges of the tablecloth together, it will wrinkle and fold. That's similar to what happened when India collided with Asia. The immense pressure created by the collision caused the land to buckle and fold, creating the towering peaks and deep valleys of the Himalayas. These majestic mountains are still growing, rising at a rate of about 5 millimeters per year. The snow-capped peaks and glaciers are a testament to the power of natural forces. The Himalayas are not just a geological wonder, they are home to a diverse range of flora and fauna. Local communities have adapted to the harsh conditions, living in harmony with this natural wonder. The rivers and streams that flow from these mountains provide water to millions of people. As the sun rises over the Himalayas, it illuminates a landscape that has been millions of years in the making. A landscape that continues to evolve, shaped by the relentless forces of nature. The Himalayas stand as a testament to the incredible power and beauty of our planet. 
Section 6. Shaping Landscapes and Cultures The formation of the Himalayas didn't just reshape the Earth's surface, it was a monumental event that altered the very fabric of our planet. This colossal uplift not only created some of the world's highest peaks, but also had a profound impact on the planet's climate and the evolution of life. The collision of tectonic plates that gave birth to the Himalayas also unearthed ancient fossils, revealing secrets of Earth's distant past. The towering mountains created a barrier for monsoon winds, redirecting their path and intensifying their strength. This led to the development of the Indian monsoon, a seasonal wind pattern that brings life-giving rain to the region, nurturing its lands and sustaining its people. The monsoon rains are not just a weather phenomenon, they are the lifeblood of agriculture, influencing the rhythms of life and the cycles of nature. This seasonal deluge has shaped the diverse cultures and traditions of the Indian subcontinent, fostering a rich tapestry of human and ecological diversity. This dramatic geological event also played a crucial role in shaping the unique cultures and biodiversity of the Indian subcontinent. The flora and fauna that thrive here are a testament to the region's dynamic environment. The Himalayas, with their towering peaks and spiritual significance, have long been a source of inspiration for art, religion, and philosophy. These majestic mountains are not just natural wonders, they are sacred spaces that have shaped the spiritual and cultural ethos of the region. From ancient scriptures to modern art, the Himalayas have been immortalized in countless forms, reflecting their enduring influence on human creativity and thought. Their presence continues to inspire awe and reverence, reminding us of the profound connection between nature and culture. Section 7. A Connection Forged Over Millennia Today, India is an integral part of the Asian continent, connected by land and shared history. The collision that brought these two landmasses together created a tapestry of cultures, languages, and traditions that continues to evolve today. The story of India's journey is a testament to the power of geological forces and the vastness of geological time. It's a reminder that our planet is constantly changing, albeit on a time scale that's hard to fathom. Section 8. The Unfolding Story Where will India go next? The story of India's journey is not over yet. The Indian plate is still moving northward, albeit at a slower pace than before. This ongoing collision means that the Himalayas are still growing, albeit imperceptibly to us. So, where will India go next? Will it continue to push northward, creating even taller mountains? Will it eventually merge completely with Asia? The answer, as with many things in geology, lies hidden in the depths of time. 